Looking at artifacts as a musical instrument is a whole new way of evaluating something. You can experience them through the music. The thing that I, just intrigues me and enchants me is when you listen to the note, you're hearing a note that could be 10,000 years old. Litho is Greek for stone, and phone means sound. So a lithophone is a musical instrument that consists of a purposely selected rock. People found rocks that had musical properties, and then they shaped them to look like this. And what they were doing really was creating certain sounds. So the sound is based on the length and the width of the artifact. Not that long ago, there were these lithophones that were found on, in archaeological sites here at the Great Sand Dunes, and we did not know what they were. We studied them for a long time, and we thought they were used for grinding and crushing, but the use where, when you look at them under a microscope, it didn't make sense. A colleague, David Killam, sent me a YouTube video. French soldiers had brought these artifacts back to Paris in the early 1900s, and they didn't really know, again, what they were until the researcher, who was a jeweler, happened to tap on them. And that's when he realized they were lithophones. I was actually by myself at the house, and it was nighttime, and I tapped on them, and it made the hair on my arm stand up. I mean, I just, it, it was amazing. And I just kept tapping them, and I just couldn't get over it, because we had never thought about tapping artifacts. I remember when you tapped them for the first time that I had chills. It started with History Colorado, the State Historical Fund, because they did fund a grant to study these. And of course, Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve was very supportive of this research. And then the Friends of the Dunes agreed to take on the grant. One of the two foot long lithophones that was discovered a uh, local fellow was on horseback and he saw a little piece of it sticking up and he got off his horse and he kicked it. And he said he dang near broke his foot. But then when we realize and appreciate that this uh, stone was buried vertically, so in a sea of sifting sand, that would allow it to be found again. If you just laid it flat, it would be long buried. And so you would have these sites that you would go to, most likely where water occurs, and revisit them. And that's where you would cache things that were heavy because you wouldn't carry a lithophone with you as you're chasing buffalo across the landscape. Current thinking about the age of the lithophones is that they're Paleo-Indian. And so these are the end of the, uh, the last ice age. They tell the story of what people did besides living to survive. You know, everybody needs food, water, and shelter. Those are the basics. But even people thousands of years ago wanted more than that just like us. They wanted things that make life meaningful. And one of those things is music.